as I said, all those fillers, everything I use, it doesn't matter whether I use glue and, and sawdust or, or wood fillers or whatever, anything I use always seems to shrink really bad. And so the best thing you can do for that is just let it dry really good and let it shrink. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to get rid of this cork. And I'm just taking a, another blade and trying to get in there and lift it off. It's in bad shape. If it was in good shape, I'd probably just leave it because something's got to go there anyway. But uh, instead of gluing it to the instrument like they did here, again, I'm sure that was an amateur job, we'll be gluing it to the actual pick guard and uh, let the pick guard uh, clamp to the guitar instead of gluing cork here like they did. So it's just another little uh, amateur issue that I wish we didn't have to face, but we do. And the uh, question is, is how good can I get it off of here without scratching it up too bad? They definitely glued it. And if you know anything about cork, it's basically just wood. It's tree bark. And uh, so it's glued pretty well, except that it was glued to the finish, so I'm trying to peel it right off the top of that finish again. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like it's coming right off the top of the finish as good as it could. Sometimes you get onto something like this and it's just a piece of cake, nothing to it at all. Other times, it won't cooperate. This is one of those times, and I'm thinking it's the won't cooperate time. Looks like whatever they glued this with, I'm going to say they used model airplane glue on this, something like that, because it looks like it messed up the finish where at least the Elmer's glue pretty much just stuck on top of the finish. This kind of looks like it melted the finish. So that just means that's just one more thing that's not going to be perfect. Maybe this, these videos, if they don't show you how to do your own repair, maybe at least they'll show people what not to do to their instruments, like glue things to them, <laughs> or attempt to fix them yourself if you're not capable with clamping and things like that. You will do more harm and cost yourself more money than just taking it to a professional right at the beginning. Now I see a different problem, which I didn't really notice it so much before because the cork was hiding it. And I just don't know what the other problem is. There's a distinct line all the way across to right here where that pick guard over the years has rubbed back and forth. So. Just part of the life of this thing, I guess, but it's just one more thing that I kind of wish wasn't there. I don't know if you can see that yourself, but it's not too bad compared to the way it was with that big glob of junk on there. It's still not great though. It's definitely rough and a lot of rough area there. So, take a little piece of 400 wet or dry and lightly scour that area there to try to smooth off all that roughness. It is pretty rough.
Well, that actually improved it a lot. It still didn't take off much finish, although there's still a spot or two there where I can tell there's glue on top of the finish. Wish I could get rid of that without sanding through. Try the scraper again. Better try the smaller scraper blade if I can find it. Here it is. There. Miracle. I'm sure you can see it in the uh, camera there that it's uh, a bad spot but most of that now just looks like the damage from the uh, pick guard sliding around and we'll if we come up with a better die we'll probably dye a little bit of that and put a little more linseed oil on that over time and make that disappear a little bit more it won't go completely away but just trying to make it look eye appealing. Then we'll move on up to this other crack on the shoulder up here. Again, it's mostly, the crack's not that bad. It's just that there's so much surface glue. If they would have just wiped the glue off when they glued it, it wouldn't be that bad. Put the, I'm going to have to just take the scraper surface scrape the, the glue off of there again and I don't know what kind of glue this is this doesn't look like Elmer's I don't know what this is I'll wet it down first if it turns milky we'll know it's Elmer's but I don't think it is I think it's something else I think this is I don't know what kind of glue it's like maybe some kind of a clear paper glue or something. Ugh. Doesn't look like it's going to want to come off easy either. Yeah. Just got to do what we can do. Get rid of it. I guess that would be the other lesson on this is if you do decide to do your own glue work, wipe off the extra glue. It's not a big deal. Wipe it off right while it's wet. And the crack's bigger than I guess I thought it was. I see a pretty good crack there. It's mostly going to be a fill job because there's already glue in there. I don't like to re-break cracks. If they're not broken at the time I get it, I don't like to re-break them because you can sure make a bigger mess out of something really fast. Oftentimes, the glue will actually be stronger than the rest of the place and you'll break the rest of it before you break the glue. If you're wondering my technique for scraping this without scraping too much finish, I lay my finger on the top and slide the blade down until it just makes contact and then even back it off just a hair from that and then scrape across and get all the high spots. That's what I'm trying to do. I gotta be honest though, I'm getting quite a bit of finish on this side. This glue is a different animal. I didn't get all that much finish on the other side where I was scraping the glue off.
Now I'm going to squeeze this to see if that crack closes at all, and it doesn't seem to be closing. Maybe just a teeny tiny amount. <sighs> I'm trying to debate on whether I should pick the glue out of that crack and squeeze it closed and glue it or just fill it and glue it. I think I'm going to try to pick the glue out. That's the harder way to go, but I think I can make the crack go away better. So, here I go, picking out the glue out of the crack. Sometimes when I do these things, I put patches on the inside across the crack. Most of the time I do. It just depends on the crack and how well it goes back together and how much tension it's under and that kind of thing. Pretty sure this is under a lot of tension. So this one's probably going to get the patches on the inside as well as the glue on the outside or glue on the crack itself. Now I run into a spot here where the glue, where the seems to still be glued. Hmm. Not simple. I'm not sure that's going to squeeze together, but I'll go get a couple of my little screw clamps and see what happens. What I'm going to do is put the clamps on here, squeeze it together, and see if I can draw that crack together. And yes, I can actually. I'm kind of surprised. Well, that's pretty good. It's not too bad. I'm surprised that it drew it, to, drew it together better than I thought it was going to. Did it draw it together perfect? Of course not. But it did draw it together pretty well. So that's going to be our first approach. Is we're going to have to leave this clamp probably overnight to let this glue really set up good because it's really under pressure. And then from the inside, I'll use some quick setting glues and put some patches over the crack on the inside. And I'll do that tomorrow, probably. Yeah, maybe I'll do it today after I get these clamps on here. And then we'll squeeze it for all we're worth here. tight as I can turn it. Put another one on here and I have a feeling between the two it's going to squeeze some glue out of here. Yep, there it comes. Not bad. Not bad at all compared to what we had. Again, get all the extra glue off. Yeah, that really did fix that crack up nice. Assuming that that'll hold, and I'm going to assume it will. That's a pretty big assumption, though. That's under a lot of stress. So, for sure, we're going to have to put patches on the inside on this. That don't know of any good way to film that, so we'll just do the best we can. I can see squeeze that on the inside, so I'm going to get in there and try to get rid of that. Except this has got the tiniest sound hole I've ever seen. So, this hand ain't going in there. So, we'll just take something. Screwdriver and try to wash the glue off there on the inside. See how that looks. Well, you can't see in there. Did pretty good job actually. Kind of surprised.